Alrighty, good morning and happy holidays. My name is Anjelique if you are new here and today we're going to spend the day getting this house ready for guests. My dad and his wife arrived this week to spend Christmas and New Year's with us which we're really really excited about but our house is not in the most presentable state for guests at least. <laughs> so we're going to spend today getting the house in order and I just love making guests feel really really welcome and have the house be spotless and clean and almost make it feel like a bed and breakfast. So that's today's game plan. I have a whole list, my computer would wake up, that I want to do. I want to like strip the towels, clean the guest room and office, mop the floors, clean the fans, dust, you know, just make everything presentable. Oh, also I need to like wrap presents and wash the dogs and a few other things. So I have a whole list ready to go for us to knock out today. And also I teamed up with Comfy to share with you guys their electric pressure cooker and I've been wanting one of these things for so long so I'm very excited. Um, we're gonna actually open it real quick. So I'm gonna run to the grocery real quick before we start cleaning because I want to test out a recipe. I want to make a homemade chicken noodle soup. I thought it'd be really good to like test out a recipe before I make it for guests. So we're gonna do that today plus it'll be a really easy and quick meal for Sawyer and I to have for lunch. So let's bust this baby open. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, I don't know how many people know this or how often I've talked about it, but my dad is a huge foodie. Like he loves to cook. And so <laughs> something I've always wanted to do is like impress him when cooking um, <laughs> because it doesn't happen very often because he's like literally like chef status. Um, but he's been impressed with a few things that I cooked when I was like home in Utah. So we're gonna take that as a win and um, hopefully, Hopefully this baby will make it seem like I can cook better than I can. So I'm gonna run to the store. We're gonna grab all the ingredients for chicken noodle soup. And I also wanna grab some things for apple cider because I wanna test that out maybe tomorrow because um, I love homemade apple cider. So anyways, that's right. Running to the store, grab ingredients. We'll come back, get the chicken noodle soup going and then we'll get this house going as well. Off to Whole Foods we go. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't think you guys understand how happy kitchen appliances make me. Like, it's like adulting to the fullest, but I freaking love it. So I'm now back from the grocery store. I already unloaded all the ingredients are over on that end. Um, it did take me a little longer than I anticipated because some of the grocery stores didn't have what I needed because it's the holiday season. So I had to go to like three or four different stores to find all the ingredients for my recipes. So before I set up my comfy pressure cooker, I am going to reset the kitchen because I don't like to cook in a dirty space or messy space. So I'm gonna take a second, reset the kitchen, and then we will start cooking our chicken noodle soup. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like I can function now. <laughs> That is so cool. It talks to you. Okay, so I just plugged in the Comfy 9-in-1 pressure cooker. So I have all my ingredients for the chicken noodle soup as well as obviously my pressure cooker. And cool thing about this, I've been reading my little manual. And not only can you pressure cook in it, you can also saute, bake, stew, steam, cook oatmeal, slow cook, pressure cook, which we already mentioned. You can cook soup and broth, eggs, rice, chili, and beans, and yogurt. So there's actually 12 preset smart programs in this multifunctional pressure cooker, which is very, very convenient because it cooks much faster than I normally do, which means I can be a better cook because I can do more at once, which is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Um, being that this won't take too long to cook, I can actually get some lunch done for Sawyer and I or an early dinner really, really quick while I'm cleaning the house. Um, so I'm very excited for that. Oh, and also how cool is this? Being that it's a nine in one, I replace nine common kitchen appliances with one. And you guys all know, I don't have a ton of space in this house for storage. Um, for like a ton of different kitchen appliances. So being that I can replace a few that I already have with this one appliance right here is really convenient. All right, so I have my recipe pulled up, but let me just quickly see if there's anything else I need to be aware of before I start. I already pre-washed um, the lid and the inner pot 
and also the inner pot is a non-stick pot so which makes it very very easy for cleanup which I always love because nothing's worse than soaking a pan <laughs> we all know that all right well let's go ahead and start cooking our chicken noodle soup and I will include the recipe that I used down below um, I'm pretty much gonna wing it I pulled one up but I'm probably gonna like I loved just to kind of do my own thing anyway so i'm going to use that as a guide so if it turns out yummy which i hope it does i will include uh the recipe that i used down below as well as a link to the comfy pressure cooker for you guys as well let's go ahead and grab a cutting board and start chopping up all the ingredients that we need for our chicken noodle soup So that is now on and cooking. So while this is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and tackle the kitchen. We're gonna do the countertops, clean all the surfaces, clean the stove top and move over to the dishes. But not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited to see how this turns out because it only takes like 15, 20 minutes to cook a full soup. My life just got easier and I'm kind of excited about that. So let's go ahead and start on the kitchen and we'll check back in and see how this is going. Real quick, I just realized that this thing has a lot of pressure in it, so it has to depressurize. So the lid is still locked. So while this is depressurizing and I can continue cooking that, we're gonna go ahead and wash Ollie real quick. Um, all three dogs, we're washing my mom's dogs right now because she's in Texas visiting uh, Tom's side of the family. So um, the dogs yesterday all got groomed except Ollie because he wasn't quite due. So I'm gonna quickly wash him so he's clean and all fluffy for the holidays um so we'll check back on this in one quick second all right i have one little baby yoda <laughs> shredded now we're just cooking the noodles and I'm not gonna lie this is so fast and easy and painless while I am trying to get so much done around the house so we'll let those noodles cook and um, then we'll try out the soup here in about five minutes I'm so excited we'll actually eat this for dinner because um, it's getting a little later um, so we'll hold off on actually eating it, um, but I love knowing that dinner is done and I can just go about my day cleaning and doing what I need to do to get the house ready. But yet this just made my life easier. <laughs> Alright, so everything on my to-do list today is basically to look presentable for guests. What I mean is there's things that people notice when they walk into somebody's homes, like if your stovetop isn't clean or um, if your toilet seat is dirty, things like that. So we already cleaned the stovetop. I actually already scrubbed the bathroom this morning. And something else that I really want is just make sure it like to the eye looks really clean. I keep a very, very clean house. That's something that I'm very, very proud of, but dust and dirt does happen. So next up, we're gonna clean the ceiling fans because for some reason, they get really, really dirty and dusty. And our house has something to do with like our AC units, the humidity, and however it all happens, the dust is really sticky. So it sticks to the fans. So we're gonna clean that off right now because the last thing I want is like the fans to stop one day and people to look up and be like, ooh, that's dirty. Like, look at it. I don't know if you... Mm, it tastes so good. It does need a little more liquid just because the noodles um, soaked up more than I thought. So I will pour a little more broth in, but oh my gosh. I'm pretty happy with myself. It's very hot, but it's very good. And just like that, we have chicken noodle soup. Oh, looks so good. All right, I just got word that Sawyer's starving. Oh yeah, what I've been smelling this thing all day. It's 3.20. I know you have. So I'm gonna wait to eat mine for dinner, but this is Sawyer's early dinner oh, lunch. Oh, yes. <laughs> it probably needs like some salt and pepper, but. Salt and pepper it up. Oh. It's probably really hot. It's good though. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yay, thanks. 
Oh, it makes me so happy that Sawyer liked the soup. He literally just sat there two seconds ago and said, we could have this way more often. Like, I yeah, could, I'm like, this. like, I'm <laughs> apparently he's finishing it. Um, but no, it just made me really happy because, yeah, it was super quick and easy, healthy, and he likes it. So that's a plus. So anyways, back to cleaning. Um, I'm gonna do the mirror real quick. That is just something that people see. And when you have a dusty mirror, it shows it's not cute and really, really easy to avoid. So let's do that. Oh, much better. All right, this next thing, I'm actually, oh, hi, Mango. This is my mom's dog, Mango. Um, the next thing on my list is to strip towels. Now, I've seen this like on TikTok and Instagram, Pinterest, all those things, and I'm like, no, that doesn't seem necessary. I'll just get new towels. But, you know, I have these towels that are great, and they just kind of smell a little musty, and that happens definitely here in Hawaii because it's just so humid, and it's just towels get musty, and they kind of look a little dingy, yada yada. So I want to try to save them, especially before guests come, to make the towels feel as soft and clean and bright as possible. So I googled how to do it, and it said to use a fourth cup of laundry detergent. So I have my Tide, and then it also says to use a fourth cup borax. I love this. I actually put this in almost every load of laundry. It actually really, really helps. And then the last thing is half a cup of laundry booster. It's the Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. And I had a Google when it said washing soda. I was like, isn't that baking soda? And it's not. I learned that. So I actually ordered this a few days ago so that way it would be here to try to do it, but this is kind of cool. It has all these hacks on here, and apparently this is like a good and trusty go-to. So I'm very happy to like, I don't know, test this and have it in my cleaning supplies. So I'm gonna fill the tub with hot water, put in all these soaps and detergents, and throw the towels in, and we'll just let them sit and see what comes of this. I have no idea. I've never done this before, so it's kind of an experiment as well. So well, let's get started. So my bad, it's a fourth a cup of washing soda and half a cup of detergent. So I had a feeling when I was filling this up, I was like, I feel like that's a little much. And I was right, I just checked the post. All right, so the tub is now full. So I'm just gonna let these soak um, probably as long as I can. I don't remember how long it recommends. I'm sure it's like overnight. So it says to submerge your towels in the mixture and soak until the water is cooled. It usually takes about four hours. Stir occasionally to release the buildup in the towels. Okay, so while this is soaking and releasing all the grossness, <laughs> I mean buildup, um, <laughs> I am going to go into the guest room and reset that room. Uh, but I'm very excited to see if this works because I feel like my towels can definitely get like more life out of them if I just take care of them a little bit or so. Um, and if this works too, I also want to like try it on my sheets. So if you guys have any ooh, hot water right here, if you guys have any tricks, definitely let me know if there's anything like this I should try. So I made a coffee. Um, I'm losing steam <laughs> and I, I can't yet. I can't. I am nowhere near done, but it is 3.50, so I feel like somehow I lost a few hours during the day. I don't know what happened. Um, anyways, uh, we're going to get this guest room in order. So it's a mess. <laughs> I need to strip the bed and redo all the sheets. I need to put away duvet covers and switch the duvet cover. I have all this stuff. It's actually like kind of in my storage unit. Um, it's like where I store everything. It's where all of my packages come and just sit until I get to them. So that can't be a thing when I have guests here. I mean, this whole side of the bed is like boxes and it's just, they need a place to put stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what they need. So, um, yeah, we're going to work on this room a little bit. It is kind of like tight quarters. So I'm going to do my best to like show you guys what I'm doing, but I guess let's start with eliminating what doesn't need to be in here. Now, what that means is I am gonna take stuff to my mom's house. Um, she's out of town. Um, she's in Texas for Christmas. So I'm gonna take whatever doesn't need to be in here but that I still need, take it there and keep it um, until um, my guests are gone and I can bring it back here. Cool. 
cool. There's a big pile here of stuff that I'm going to bring to my mom's and that eliminated that whole side. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but I want my guests to be able to walk on both sides of the bed, of course. So I'm going to get this out, alleviate this, and then I'll figure out what to do with my light. I'll probably move this to Sawyer's office and just like use it as needed kind of thing. Anyways, let me move this. Let's bring this to Sawyer's office. All right, it's looking much better in here already as far as just getting that stuff out and vacuuming. So underneath the bed, I have a bin of decor that I'm like not using, um, especially with like Christmas. It's like I'm not using a ton of decor. So I'm gonna see if any of this stuff will fit under there. Um, and it is amazing how much can accumulate in a room. <laughs> so it's definitely looking a lot better. The dresser is pretty much cleared off. Um, now I want to do the bed. I need to strip it and redo the sheets. I think I have a second set, which would be very convenient. Um, so fingers crossed that that is under there. So let's go ahead and strip the bed and start making this feel all comfy and cozy for guests. Oh, I love this stuff. I love it. All right. Okay, so the guest room is done. It looks so much better. It's clean, it's dusted, it, everything's put away. There is no excess stuff around. It no longer looks like a storage room. So I'm very, very happy about that. Now I did just check the towels and the water is looking even murkier than when I checked it last time, which is good. So um, I think the last thing that I want to do today which I can't believe I'm even saying this day feels so long. <laughs> the last thing I want to do today is wrap some Christmas presents. Now, my goal is to get as much wrapped as I can today, so that way I can get other things done tomorrow because I feel like I didn't get as much done as I wanted today, but we will deal with that tomorrow. So let's get the presents wrapped and done, and we can check that off the list. Let's go in the living room. That was a good wrapping session. I got Christmas PJs done, I got a lot of gifts done, and our tree is quickly filling up, but it looks really good. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I wanted to give you an update on the towels. I'm gonna let them soak even longer because it's actually working, but I'll probably be done filming by the time I actually finish these. I might even let them soak overnight, but this is the update. The water is really murky and gross, which is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna let these keep soaking and yeah but how gross is that like look at that i cannot even begin to tell you how good it feels to have all those things done i feel like the house finally <laughs> looks presentable so i'm gonna serve myself up some food i haven't eaten yet i know sawyer wants round two so let's serve up some soup well loves there you have it that is the end of this video of getting my house ready for guests it needed it and it looks so much better it just feels so much better like knowing it's clean and just doing all those like little tiny things to make the details great <laughs> definitely got to pay attention to the details when you're having guests come in towns because you know they notice and they appreciate it as well so anyways that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up i'm also going to link this pressure cooker by comfy down below because really impressed and I can't wait to try even more. And I actually decided I'm gonna make homemade apple cider tomorrow and test that out as well before my family gets here. So I'll be sure to link that down below for you guys. But that is it, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.